Hello dear colleagues, this is Muhammad Abdul Ghani Siddiq, co-founder and instructor of FRKM Courses Academy. We are glad that we've just finished our 14th MRKM OSCE online course, which was our first online course during this COVID pandemic. And the course uh, done between December 2020, mid-December until the end of Uh, February 2021 a total of 18 sessions we run it um, through zoom application it was very successful and we hope that all our colleagues will do very well and pass their upcoming MRKM OSC exam from the first attempt we pray we will pray for them and for all of you Uh, today, I'm going to speak about one of the most important stations that commonly appearing in the MRKM OSC exam recently. It's teaching of tricyclic antidepressant toxicity. So, as you know, you will have seven minutes. First of all, you will find um, the scenario outdoor. And you will have one minute to revise the scenario and to know the task and to review the pie chart. After that, when you hear the bell ringing, knock the door, get in inside the room, have a look around for any clues, any notes, anything. Great, uh, the examiner and the junior colleague, introduce yourself and then wash your hand with the gel please don't forget that and then go ahead and approach the junior colleague uh, the junior colleague could be a nurse medical student or a junior doctor um, again um, introduce yourself my name is Muhammad, one of the emergency uh, medicine doctors and can i confirm your name and your level please And then, how can I help you today? He will ask you to teach him about tricyclic antidepressant toxicity. Asserting um, how much does he know about that. And then, tell him that uh, you are going to teach him today uh, some important points about tricyclic antidepressant toxicity. And tell him that, uh, actually speaking about tricyclic antidepressant toxicity might take hours. But... Just I'm going to give you uh, some important details during these seven minutes. All right. Um, and invite him for any questions at any time if he has. And tell him that at the end you are going to give him some lectures and online resources for further studying. And that you will be happy to meet him again for further discussion. Then um, I will choose some important points that you could teach to, to your colleague. Um, you can tell him firstly that uh, the toxic dose for tricyclic antidepressant is taking uh, 15 milligram per kilogram or more. And then the effect of tricyclic antidepressant um, are usually on the autonomic anticholinergic effect on the autonomic uh, nerve endings and on the brain. This is number one. Number two, uh, it causes cardiac sodium channel uh, blockage. And then also um, it blocks alpha-1 adrenergic receptors. So these are the main effects of tricyclic antidepressant. I will repeat them again. So, anticholinergic effect on the autonomic nerve endings and on the brain. Number two, blocking the cardiac sodium channels. And number three, alpha-1 adrenergic receptors blockage. So, our clinical features 
usually patients might present uh, with uh, the uh, the anticholinergic features on the nerve uh, autonomic nerve endings and on the brain patient might present with confusion convulsions um, up to coma and respiratory arrest also they might have dry mouth uh, dry skin mydriasis dilated pupils uh, urinary retention and so on and on the cardiac uh, sodium channels so it uh, blocks the cardiac sodium channels so the patients might present with arrhythmias um, and uh, usually the effect on the ECG um, we will speak about that later but they might present with heart blocks uh, up to ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation all right and then the also the patient might present with hypotension and tachycardia as well so these are the main effects and cardiovascular collapse fine then investigations the most important investigations are ECG also you will do a bedside blood gas and of course you will check the blood uh, glucose level BM also you will need uh, UNEs, urea and electrolytes, magnesium uh, and bone profile uh, so the ECG features patients might have a prolongation of all complexes or part of them so prolongation of the BR QRS complex and QT intervals they might have heart blocks um, they might have as we said uh, ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation and by the way uh, QRS complex prolongation more than 120 millisecond that is uh, carries a high risk for ventricular arrhythmias and death all right also you can mention that uh, sometimes the they might uh, the ECG might show um, like dominant R wave in AVR along with the tachycardia and white uh, QRS complexes. All right, uh, in the blood gas, uh, that might show uh, severe metabolic acidosis. So let's move to our management because as I said, you have only seven minutes. You can't teach everything just you need some important points management if the patient is unstable treat as bear ls protocol support airway breathing and circulation all right then the most important treatments to be provided along with the supportive general supportive measures uh, if the patient presented within one hour of ingestion, consider activated charcoal. That is 50 grams orally for adults and one gram per kilogram uh, for beets. And that can be repeated even um, after one hour. For example, if, uh, if uh, within two hours, uh, because it might have a, a delayed release. All right. Uh, <clears throat> consider sodium bicarbonate if indications for sodium bicarbonate uh, the dose first the dose of sodium bicarbonate is 50 ml 
of 8.4% and also can be repeated and indication for sodium bicarb infusion in tricyclic antidepressant toxicity number one uh, severe hypotension that not corrected with initial fluid resuscitation number two if the QRS complex um, is prolonged more than 120 that is another indication and number three is um, metabolic acidosis that hasn't been corrected um, after initial fluid resuscitation so we have three indications for sodium bicarbonate infusion that is persistent hypotension despite fluid resuscitation persistent metabolic acidosis despite fluid resuscitation and uh, wide QRS complexes more than 120 milliseconds also consider glucagon 5 to 10 milligrams intravenously if the if persistent hypotension despite uh, the previous measures and just may, uh, take care that uh, usually uh, glucagon might cause uh, vomiting so consider antiemetic as well um, also consider insulin and glucose so insulin uh, high dose insulin and uh, with along with uh, dextrose uh, 50 percent infusion that might also uh, improve myocardial contractility make sure that to to advise him to contact tox space for more advice all right uh, and finally uh, consider um, intralibid 20 percent uh, in severe cases as well uh, intralibid usually the dose is 15 ml per kilogram uh, IV bolus could be repeated twice and infusion of 1.5 ml per kilogram per hour maximum of 12 milligrams and uh, put in your mind that intralibit might cause pancreatitis so make sure to monitor lipase so let us summarize the treatment you will uh, treat uh, as per ALS protocol support the airway if need intubation then intubate uh, IV fluid crystalloids all right and then Consider sodium bicarbonate 8.4 percent uh, 50 ml infusion if severely hypotensive despite fluid resuscitation, if persistent metabolic acidosis despite your fluid resuscitation, and if white queries complex more than 120 uh, milliseconds. Then consider glucagon 5 to 10 milligrams IV if persistent hypotension also consider high dose insulin and uh, dextrose 50 percent infusion to improve myocardial contractility in severe cases and finally uh, consider intralibit 20 percent and make sure to contact tox space so this is about um, briefly about tricyclic antidepressant toxicity then invite make sure during the station uh, to ask the, uh, your colleague your junior colleague to repeat like um, one or two points quickly but not everything because the he, he the, the time uh, is too short to uh, allow him to repeat every single point so you can, for example, ask him to tell you the toxic dose um, and then just any other point. 
and then you have to ask him or invite him for questions uh, they might ask about anything but in particular in previous exams they ask if the patient develops seizures uh, what is the dose uh, of phenytoin uh, to control the seizures so advise him that uh, phenytoin is contraindicated because uh, it blocks the cardiac sodium channels uh, as well so that will exacerbate the problem and seizures caused by tricyclic antidepressant should be controlled uh, by benzodiazepines if they are um, like prolonged seizures so usually simple uh, self-terminating seizure lasting less than five minutes no need uh, to give any medications just support the airway and keep the patient in safe position and just check the blood uh, glucose level and maintain the airway but if prolonged uh, seizure then consider benzodiazepines you can give lorazepam 4 mg IV or for example diazepam 10 mg IV if IV root is uh, not possible then you could consider diazepam rectally uh, 10 mg uh, or midazolam buccal 10 mg all right so i think uh, this is enough um, for this station because as i said you have only um, like seven minutes to uh, finish everything uh, so yes that's it good luck see you next time Bye.